wood frame walls may be built entirely on site or pre-assembled elsewhere and brought on site as large elements. This video will cover the installation of prefabricated wood wall assemblies for low and mid-rise buildings. The first important decision to make when using prefabricated elements in construction is related to schedule and logistics. Once the decision to use prefabricated wall elements is made, the contractor needs to define if elements will be delivered and stored on site. This may be an option when working with large site areas where a lot of space is available. When not a lot of space is available for storage of the wall assemblies, schedule coordination should be performed to minimize the time assemblies are on site but not installed. Just in time delivery is a term frequently used for when deliveries are scheduled for elements that are placed in their final location as they arrive on site. Minimizing or completely eliminating the space need for storage for these purposes. The wall framing activity starts as a slab is finished, which is similar to on site built wall assemblies. The walls are laid out on site, meaning workers use a set of plans and tape measures to determine the location of all frame walls of a building. Then using a pencil and or marking chalk, the location is marked on the floor. These notations help workers to install the wall assemblies in the correct place. After the final walls are marked on the floor, the wall assemblies are moved to their final location depending on the availability of workers on site, size and weight of the wood assemblies. This can be done by manual labor or using hoisting equipment. As walls are placed in their final location, nails are used to affix the assemblies in place. And while structural walls are in place, the assemblies need to be braced. These bracing elements are usually only removed once the structural elements on top, such as second floor or roof, are finished. The level of prefabrication should be decided at the beginning of the design phase, but ultimately, all the assembly of the wall portions can be done off-site in a manufacturing plant, including placement of window and door openings, blocking, and the installation of sheathing on the exterior walls. Therefore, the only activity performed on-site related to the use of prefabricated wall elements is the layout, placement, and affixing the wall assemblies in their final location, reducing the amount of work carried on-site related to the actual making of the wall structure. After the wall assembly is installed on-site, the next level of the structural elements may be added, which may be another floor or roof. Additionally, once wall framing is in place, MEP roughing may begin, as well as any required framing inspection that need to take place. 